I'm Alan Skipworth. I am an aerospace technician and drone pilot for a company called Workhorse. I am also an aviation instructor at the uh, Warren County Career Center for their adult drone program. I always was fascinated with aircraft as a kid. Uh, I was the kind of kid that would always be glued to video games or something like that that would have anything to do with airplanes. Once I got into high school, I actually went to the high school aviation program at the Warren County Career Center and that's kind of when I started deciding I might want to be a pilot. Now, once I got into an airplane and had the controls of it, I fell in love with it, and I don't think I ever came back down from that flight. Students have the capability to have their career paths and their particular interest in aviation tailored to their uh, strengths and weaknesses, if you will. The student that's training and earns the certifications for the ATP airline transport pilot rating, in general, can expect to make around seventy to seventy-five thousand dollars a year, based upon the current economy and demand that's needed at the time. The average technician can earn anywhere from twenty-two to twenty-seven dollars an hour uh, if they're licensed, have an AMP license. If you have the qualifications to be an air traffic controller and you've passed all their, all their testing, then you can expect to start at around $80,000 a year based upon the geographical uh, position that you have. I went to St. Clair Community College where I started going through their aviation uh, program through the professional pilot program. And through that, I've been able to get my private pilot's license, my instrument license, my commercial license, and my multi-engine license. And I'm currently working on my flight instructor license as well. Alan's an outstanding student. Um, I've been very fortunate to take him on as one of my CFI students. As a flight instructor initial, he can teach private pilot and commercial. Um, once he gets his double I, which is instrument training instructor, um, he'll be able to do the entire gamut. After two years of flight instruction, then he can take on other CFI um, candidates and teach them as well. My ultimate goal is to become an airline pilot, uh, working on getting my 1,500 flight hours to do that. My other career goal is to work with drones and unmanned aircraft systems, which I've been pretty involved with right now, and I really enjoy doing that as well. Alan is a remote pilot in command. He's also an aircraft technician, which means his job is to build the drones, uh, verify that they are ready for flight, uh, perform pre-flight checklists and things like that, and then he is in complete command of the drone and the crew uh, during operations and testing. He's shown us kind of more advanced ways of checking the weather, doing pre-flight, post-flight uh, routines, uh, and things like that, crew resource management, all of those kinds of tasks that are going to be needed in the future. A uh, career in aviation can be a longer career. Um, there's a lot of training, there's a lot you gotta do up front, but there's ways you can get paid and active with the industry that not necessarily have to be at the controls of the airplane that can help you get to that goal. And it's highly rewarding in the end.